sorry, my dogs were going crazy. So I'm going to bring a little bit of life. I'm going to lighten just a couple of the areas where I see around the eye. I'm going to leave the dark that's already there. There isn't any reason for me to replace any of the pigment if I don't need to. I'm going to bring out his eyelid. There is a little bit of warmth in his eye. I'll go ahead and add it because I like the that, just that little bit of charcoal. Now anywhere I can find that I can enhance with my white pencil, I'll be real careful not to make a rhythm and do too much unnecessary work if I can avoid it. So right around the nose, I can see where it runs right into the bridge of the nose, and then there's a highlight over the top of it. If I can make a larger impact, like that adds warmth to that corner of the nose. It brings some warmth right around this outside edge. I will do this over the white pencil because I do like the, especially in the fleshier areas, I want him to have um, skin tone. So I don't want it to just be gray. So, and then I'll darken this just a bit with my orange pastel so the center line stays a little richer. Here I will use my red pencil to give him a little more lip color, just right at the edge especially. And then I will go back in and watch again that desire to make exact marks, rhythmic marks, with your pencil. Scatter them, move them around. The human eye will pick up a pattern quickly, and um, we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna make a pattern. The bottom lip comes back out into light. There's little hairs on his chin. This side's not picking up as much as on the other side. So I'm going to pass my charcoal, that light charcoal, just on those edges where it's the brightest bright. And that will save me from having to go in and redefine every one of those little hairs and will stop me also from doing too much of the pattern. I don't want to, I don't want to pattern. <laughs> Simply put, I don't want a pattern. Okay. Okay, so there's a highlight there. There's a blackest black. I'm gonna go back in with my darkest charcoal. And accentuate right under the eye where the darkest dark is because you've got to have a focal point and the eye is often, especially in a portrait, your focal point. I can highlight the eye, soften that upper lip, soften the dark of the lower lip, make it a little more pink, add a little white, Detailing now with my pencil, I can do the design in the nose. Okay. 
Notice I'm really trying to stay away from making rhythmic gestural scratches. I don't want to do that. I'll just scribble all over the place before I'll try to make a pattern. So those little wrinkles in the lips, just simple little uh, different turn squiggly lines. There's a cast shadow on the bottom of his chin. Alright, and then my white pencil again to give me just that little bit of design in the background where I see that other eye is. I can go in with my little darker warm where the form starts to come back out and bridges the top of his nose and then the top of his eye, the bridge down the center of the eye, and I can fill in those little rings. Fuzz them out a little bit. And then we're at recessed back into the back. I can pick up with just a little more of that cooler tone and it still adds light, but it doesn't make it too strong. Darkest charcoal goes. I'm going to push the face back right below the cheekbone into the darkness, into that highlighted hair. Now, same thing with the back of the palm. There's some dark passage. There's a difference in the knuckles. If I put some of the darks where the fingers separate in between the fingers. And again, don't get too rhythmic with your lines. I'm gonna blur those fingers. I'm gonna put this dark here and I'm gonna put the cast shadow in or the occlusion shadow where the finger sits down on the form. Now I can also highlight again some of the warmer passages of where his skin picks up light. And then hit this highlight pretty strong. And when this white goes over the other colors, it kind of grays it out so it doesn't look so obvious. There's a clean fold line where the ear wraps around actually makes a nice sharp edge there where it tucks. Then inside the ear it gets warm again, but it's not in light. So. Just that simple little gesture right there is good. Back of the knuckles where the far edge hits the light. I'm going to pick those up with my white pencil. I'm going to hit this middle finger that wraps over the top of the head and highlights itself. Then next to it is the form of the next finger that wraps around and touches the head. And just past that, it casts a shadow. This finger casts a shadow on the fur. There's a lighter tone, but it's cooler because it's further away, so I added a little bit of the gray. I'm just going to put the wrinkly skin that I see picking up light in with my white pencil again. I'm 
going to highlight this ear fold. Just that outer edge picks up the light. Then there's a little bit of fur that picks up right onto his hand. Use some of that. This just gives, I'm, I've got to go right back through this a little bit. I put that warmer color in and then realize that there is a little more light here. Picks up this brow. And notice how I can refine and refine and refine some of these lights. They don't have to go in as light right away. You can take your time and build the values. They don't have to be all done at once or nailed within the first few minutes. You can actually take your time and do that. I'm gonna push some darks right up underneath the fur that I put on his chin, it helps those hairs stand out. Also sets his chest back from the protrusion of his skull coming out off of his neck. Interior of the ear has a little more warmth in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. And then I'll emphasize the dark here, here, and where it hits into the shadows. There's also, I'm, I can add a little bit of the warmth to this eye, and then I'm going to cool it down, and then I'm going to add my darkest dark right over the top part of it behind the hand. So it looks like there's actually something back there other than just a dark. This hand casts the shadow down over this cheek so it emerges out of the shadows. And then I'm gonna use charcoal to add a little bit of the cast shadow from the hand onto this brow. dark right here in the nostril and behind it I need to push the muzzle of the face forward by giving a nice dark shadow just behind the edges and that is basically how I use pastel on black paper and I'm gonna call it quits because I don't wanna overwork it. And I know you've got other things to do too. So let's do this. You can do this. One more little highlight right there, the blue, gray. Just gives me that little bit of form turn in the background.